Okay, so today we're going to take a walk out to my backyard pond. And I want to show you some frogs here. These are frequently misidentified. What you're looking at here, sure, it's a frog in the pond in the United States, northeastern United States. But is that a bullfrog or is that a green frog? Look what's happening to this frog right here. It's being fed upon by mosquitoes. Look at its back. Why doesn't that frog just eat those mosquitoes? Yep, mosquitoes will even take blood from amphibians. And that's what frogs are. They're amphibians. They need to breed in water. And this is a male. Is that a male green frog? Or is this a male bullfrog? This is actually a green frog. It's a male green frog, and look at his tympanic membrane. That's the ear sticking there right behind the eye. Larger than the eye, that's a trait of the male. And they also want you to notice a physical trait here. A lot of people, you know, they hear the frogs croaking, and they're on the pond, and it's big, and they think, wow, that's a bullfrog. But it really isn't. This is just a green frog. And there are physical differences that I'm going to explain in this video. But I want you to appreciate, uh, number one, the age of this frog. They're not very big, but they've spent years as tadpoles before they ever got to this phase. And they reproduce in the pond. This is a freshwater pond. You can also find them in slow moving rivers and lakes and even drainage ditches and things like that. And you're gonna hear them at night croaking away. And sometimes when you scare them at the edge of the pond, they make a little tweet or burp as they jump into the water. And those are usually the younger, smaller ones. This is a mature male. Again, this is a green frog, not a bullfrog. Look at his yellow chin, also a trait of the male. And it's mating season here. We're at the end of May, getting into June. Pretty soon we're gonna see lots of eggs in the water and they'll have tadpoles coming out of those eggs when they hatch in about three or four days. And everything's gonna eat them. The fish are gonna eat them, frogs are gonna eat the eggs even older tadpoles. Tadpoles live two to three years also in the pond. Before they ever get their hind legs, they're already a couple of years old. So when you're looking at tadpoles, that's not a fast metamorphosis there. This is spread out over time. Here's another male croaking a little bit here. And guarding his area at nighttime, they'll leave the water and go right up on the bank, 50, 60 feet into the tall grass, and they'll be hunting and defending their territory and of course, entering the water to mate. If you see two frogs mating, you'll notice that it will be the male on top and the female underneath, and fertilization takes place in the water. So she'll push the eggs out and you'll find little clutches of eggs, which probably will show later on this spring. I'll get you a close up and show you those little tadpoles hatching out. And of course, every kind of frog is gonna be in the water to mate. And again, what's that there? Is that a bullfrog? Is that a green frog? That's a green frog. The green frogs only get about three inches max. So that's still a good size frog. And uh, you're gonna see a lot of them around. And again, I want you to notice this ridge. I'll give you a better shot of it in another sequence here and I'll explain that. One of the most easily identifiable traits between the species. And here's a female. A female green frog. She is on this water lily here at the edge and notice that her tympanic membrane there right behind the eye is about the diameter of the eye. Also notice that her bottom jaw is cream colored. It is not yellow. And here we go. See that ridge going down behind the ear there and it follows down along the body. This is a trait of the male green frog. So once again not a bullfrog. It's just a common misconception. You hear it croaking, it's on your pond, it's large, and you think, hmm, bullfrog. But also, you can see those uh, dorsal ridges going down the back. If it were a bullfrog, that would follow around that tympanic membrane and just curve right down towards the forelimbs there. But instead, it goes straight back, so that is the easiest difference. You want to be a biology genius with amphibians in your pond and point out these differences to your friends. Now these aren't easy to catch. These things are several years old by the time they've grown their limbs and gotten rid of their tail. 
They've spent uh, a couple of winters under the ice and in the uh, humus. They dig in and survive. And they feed off of that tail too. So their tails as tadpoles get nice and fat with resources. And that's how they store energy in their body. And the first thing to come out is going to be those hind legs. And then the four limbs, and then they're going to climb out onto the banks and become fully amphibious. And those are mature frogs. What do you think they eat? They eat anything they can fit in their mouth. These little frogs will even eat tiny snakes. I have not seen them eating honeybees yet. They come to the pond to drink. They will eat smaller frogs. Pretty soon there will be toads breeding and those little black tadpoles will hatch out. And those tiny toads will try to make it off the banks and the frogs will be eating those. Here again, another male. He gave a nice croak there. And they do a lot more croaking at night. Some people don't like frogs because they do that. If you want to sneak up on these and get a close look at night, look at this one right here, male or female. It's another green frog, not a bullfrog, and it's a female. Look at the size of her eardrum there behind the eye. Again, it's called a tympanic membrane. It's about the same size as her eye. Also, her underlip there is cream colored, not yellow like this. So very easy to distinguish. Once you know the traits, you'll recognize them immediately. Aside also from the size, bullfrogs get huge. And we're going to show you one in a little bit here, so you'll have a comparison. Look at that right there. Is that a green frog? Or is that a bullfrog? This is a bullfrog. See that ridge right behind the eye and it curves right around the tympanic membrane and goes down towards the forelimbs instead of extending straight down the back. And that's a bullfrog. And these get bigger. Bullfrogs can be you know, five to six inches long. And uh, here for comparison, look at the ridge again. That's the green frog. So very easy once you notice it, once you see it, aside from adult size. If it's a really big frog, chances are it's a bullfrog. So if that thing is five inches in length, uh, you've got a nice big frog there. They're also slippery, harder to grab. The green frogs are easier to grab. I like to get right in the water and sneak up to them from the center of the pond and scoop underneath. They're usually aiming towards shore as they are in these pictures and in these video sequences. And there you go, bullfrog or green frog, bullfrog. Look at that rounded snout too. And uh, fewer markings, by the way. Nice solid green. Well, you notice that the green frogs actually have a green lip area and brighter around the mouth and then darker with more mottled colors going down the back of the sides and the ridge. Look at those prominent eyes. How long do these things live? You see bullfrogs in your pond that can live six, seven, eight years. And uh, in captivity, some people have kept them as long as 13 years, but in the wild, I would say eight or nine years is about the maximum. So these are old pond residents. They're not easy to sneak up on because uh, they have survived many seasons. They avoid mammals. They don't want to be eaten by a raccoon. This is a look you don't want to see if you're a small bird eating or bathing at the edge of the pond. That's right, a bullfrog could eat you. They eat snakes, they eat other frogs, anything that goes in that mouth, they eat it. In the tadpole phase though, they're going to be spending their time swimming around and eating algae. That's what they start off with. Here we go back to the male green frog. And uh, as they get older, they move on from eating algae to eating the eggs and decaying matter, dead insects. Uh, they eat anything that swims around in the water that fits in their mouth again, but they start off on algae. Algae is easy. So they go from herbivore to omnivore while they're tadpoles. So if you see a tadpole with hind feet and it still has that tail on it, of course, which identifies it as a tadpole, that's already a couple of years old. So I hope you're learning something looking at these. Your amphibians, you know, a frog is not a frog. There are a lot of different species of frogs and it's great when you figure out what the differences are. And uh, I don't recommend you grab them. If you do, make sure you have wet hands first. And uh, the other thing is, always wash your hands afterwards. Look at the ridges down the dorsal sides of this frog here. This is a male, green frog, large tympanic membrane, larger than the eyes. And we're viewing it from behind here. And notice that you can see the pupils of those eyes. It sees you. So 
So if you're trying to sneak up on them, your best method for doing that is to go out there at night time. And I also recommend getting a bread wrapper or something that has an amber or a red tint to it. Put that over your flashlight and you can sneak right up on them. And keep in mind too, at night, they climb right out on the bank. Males defend the territories at night. And we're again at the end of May here. Going into June, there's going to be a lot of mating going on. So there'll be a lot of activity primarily at night. During the day, they do croak, as we can hear in this video, but not as much. The chorus is much reduced. At night, you're really going to hear them, and you can locate the big ones. Okay, here's your test. What are we looking at? Is that a green frog, or is that a bullfrog? You're right, it's a bullfrog. Just sitting in the water. There's that ridge following the line of the eardrum there. And what's that right there? That is a female green frog. Note the size of her tympanic membrane, same size as the eye, cream colored chin. Nice little markings going down. And again, there's that ridge following along the top of her abdomen there. That ridge is absent in the bullfrogs. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pond today and maybe learning a little bit about uh, the common frogs that are found in northeastern United States. And remember, they eat everything, including other frogs. It's a miracle that they ever survive all these years to adulthood. And uh, those small frogs that you're looking at are actually many years old. And we're closing out here with that frontal view of this bullfrog. Their nostrils breathing there. Again, when they start out as tadpoles, they have gills and they can breathe underwater. And as they mature, they become air breathers and they need to go to the surface to survive. Thanks for watching. The other thing is, if you have amphibians like this in your pond, chances are the water quality is pretty darn good. Enjoy nature in your own backyard, and thanks for watching as always.